Welcome back to the player career mode. We are January transfer window at the moment. Where we'd like the manager and the board, Daniel Levy, if you don't mind, to start signing some players. We've sold a couple of players in the summer, which we didn't want to sell. Kind of the reason we signed or well, you chose Tottenham was probably weighted because of 90 rated Pedri being here. I signed, they fucking sold him. We've also now sold Mikel Marino in this transfer window as well. So the starting 11 is looking slightly weaker than we would like it to. With 85 being the average rating of the front three and 86 or 87 being the average rating of the defensive unit. 81 being the average rating of the central midfield area certainly shows where this side needs improving. It's just a case of will they actually bloody well do it? We hope so, but... We'll concentrate on the football for the time being. Newcastle at home to start. Then we've got a FA Cup game against Ipswich. I think it was Arsenal at the end of the month of January. It might not have been. We started the month with Wolves. That much I can recall. Obviously saying thank you to you guys for your continued support in the comment section as well. And for joining me on stream. I appreciate it very much. Today we are saying thank you to Samiz for dropping the comments in the comment section. Also uh, White Wolf with an intriguing spelling of Wolf. And Mr. Leone as well for your support in the comments. Do keep them coming. I appreciate it. It really helps the content. And of course, we aim to, now that we're out of the Carabao Cup, get ourselves an FA Cup trophy this season if we can. And maybe we'll see what we can do in the Champions League as well. Concentrating on trying to get Champions League football for Tottenham for next year if we can, if you guys elect for me to stay at Spurs. And if that's not possible, then... Hopefully, wherever we move to, we'll have the best possible opportunities for us. We know that Liverpool are interested. We know that Inter will offer us a contract as well. Want me to score two goals and get two, two goal involvements. Yikes. And an 8.5. Newcastle are probably going to be quite good. They've got six more points than us. Five more points than us this season. Ten ass in goal. Molina. Jesus. 90 rated DS. Kimpembe. Afonso Davis. Camavinga. Sunset. Baumgartner. Angelo, Davison, Barnes. Yep. Newcastle are really goddamn good. Great. We're probably going to lose this first one. Get that out to Smith Rowe. And he's played it back to me. And in that gap there is Tommy Doyle. He's had a shot. It hit Raf Rafael Nadal. Rafael Nadal? <laughs> Ruben Diaz. Where has Rafael Nadal come from? Shot hits... Ruben Diaz and Tommy doesn't get the goal. Trying to create something else here with Newcastle if we can, but I've just run straight into Baumgartner. And now Kamavinga has the opportunity to set something up for Newcastle. Angelo can't get past the man and we will clear it. Where on earth has Rafael Nadal come from? Honestly, my brain sometimes baffles me. Just absolutely flabbergasts me. I've no idea what's going on up there at points. Tommy Doyle into me. Give that to Basuma. He can give it into Doyle again. Doyle's going to burst past the man here. It's a great run. Support's arriving. Gore. Yeah, all right. That's a great decision, pal, to go all the way over there and then shoot. Never mind. Nil-nil after half an hour. Molina. Camavinga. All right. Just done a... He just did a 360 around him. Quite literally dancing around our defenders. Camavinga there. Luckily, he can't shoot. Otherwise, that would have been a pretty remarkable goal for Newcastle to take the lead here. It's nil-nil at half-time. Baumgartner. Defenders not interested, apparently. Davison blocked. Clear it. Yeah, anywhere will do. I'm quite happy with that. I don't mind, don't mind that he did that then. We weren't really going to be able to do anything more productive than that at that moment in time. 55 minutes played so far. Haven't really yet forced their keeper into any real save. Camavinga had a chance at the end of the first half for Newcastle, but... Oh, hello. Oh, that's a, a, it's a decision, certainly, to play that pass. Where do I go this way? That way. I'll just go short. He'll go to Doku. Should go to Doku. Oh, hello. Banderson's getting forward. Gore. There's Doku now. There's four of us here in, involved in this attack. Gore. Nice. And on the left, straight at the keeper. I want to set that out a bit. It's looking for the corner. It's gone very central. Jordinho coming on for us now. I'm at the back post here. I'm just going to run towards the near post where the ball inevitably will go. Oh, my God. Jordinho with the overhead kick. I've not seen that before. 
Not directly from a corner. It hasn't gone in though, but it was worth a go. I don't, don't mind that at all. Who used the hand there? Well, why could we have not played on from that? Now they've got all of their bodies back. Never mind, Lenormon. And Doyle, to me, right into a right into a defender. Couldn't even get a first touch in before the defender had the ball off me. Anthony Gordon's off the bench for them and immediately involved. Camavinga with runners in front of him. Not that he's paid any attention to the defensive line whatsoever. Molina now back on side. Camavinga acutely around the corner to Angelo. And Newcastle look dangerous here. Cross blocked and actually it came off Angelo's hands. So we'll get lucky there. And we'll have a free kick. No, it came off our hand first. They've got the opportunity. Smith Rowe off. Van Dongen on. Counter-attack also on. Doku, make me a run, please, pal. It's not really a run I can use. It's not even Doku. That's Van Dongen. Can you get to that first? No, very nearly, but no. 20 to go now. Angelo Camavinga out to Molina. This is getting dangerous. Little back heel. Angelo's in the way. It's going to fall. Vicario with a very important save to keep the scoreline at 0-0. Doyle off. And Brahim Diaz, I think, coming on in midfield for us now centrally. No change in formation that I'm aware of. Might be a change in the scoreline soon, though, if Newcastle keep building like this. Bissouma puts in a good tackle to deny Sunset. And maybe we might be able to sneak a win out of this. We've got a goal very late on against Leeds. And we're going to try and get something out of this game at the death here too. Bissouma. Call for the through ball. Silo is not going to give it to me, but I'll call for a cross. I'm in. I'm on. Please get in. It is a late goal. Had the presence of mind to know that the keeper was right there. Played the pass. If I'd have shot, it would have been saved. I get the assist. Pulled back to Van Dongen, who's come on off the bench. And Spurs will win here. I want to see a replay of that. Thankfully, this cross found me only because there was no defender anywhere near me to actually intercept. And when he delayed in taking the shot, I thought, oh no. He took a step back from it just to then pop it into the back of the net. Thank you, lad. Spurs won. Newcastle nil. Three points, please. Three minutes added on. Molina's looking to try and find some space through the middle, but we're forcing them backwards here. We've had to stand firm throughout this game. Newcastle have been the better offensive side in this game, but I don't mind being on the back foot for the majority of the fixture if you get the win. We got the win. Let's go beat Ipswich. Of course, none of the objectives met. I've got to wait a week. <sighs> got to wait a week. I'm going to be on the bench for the FA Cup against Ipswich. I'm not going to be able to overturn that deficit in my manager favour before we get to the next game. So I'm going to have to come off the bench here and make an impact against it, which and hopefully we're winning as I come on. No notification or activity of a... No, we have got an activity of a new player arriving. Who is it? Werner? Unless it's a regen Werner, which I'm desperately hoping it is. It is. It's a goalkeeper. Oh, I don't need a goalkeeper. I want to send him in, mate. Leo Werner, 19-year-old German regen goalkeeper. We need a centre mid! Sign a centre mid! Ah! Well, a new signing is a new signing. Is he going to play? Is he playing in this game? He's starting against Ipswich. Well, we're drawing 1 1 against Ipswich then, and I'm going to come on on the right hand side of midfield. 1 1. Uh, if anything sums up, it's a full strength side as well. Spursy, that. Spursy. Coming on for Doku who's been so underwhelming here at Spurs. Really needed, really expected a lot more from Doku. 6.5 is all that they want from me. 1-1 one, one away from home at Portman Road. What would be Portman Road. Leo Werner got the number one shirt. So I imagine with... I have to remember I'm playing right wing, not striker anymore. With Vicario being in relatively average form, I think Werner might end up actually starting the majority of the rest of the season. Tammy's in here. Oh, straight into the midriff of Twan Zebe. The chance to give us the advantage and I've not taken it. I've pumped it straight into a defender. Oh, my guy I thought was going to try and get to that. 
Hughes the run as a, the defender as a decoy around the corner to Smith Rowe. Oh, he squeezed it in! Keeps, have a long, hard look at yourself. You should never be beaten at the near post there. A second assist for me today. Riding the challenge, finding Smith Rowe. They asked for offside, he wasn't. And that's driven into that bottom left hand corner. Ange delighted, we're delighted. We're in front, away from home in the FA Cup. I want to win the FA Cup this year. It's, it's looking to build. Saad down the left-hand side. Oh, good save by Werner. I've been impressed with him so far. He's had, actually, quite a bit to do here in this game. I'm cool for this. Thank you. He has had quite a bit to do in this game so far, Leo Werner. More than I anticipated that he might do in a game against a championship side. Can Valise get this back to me? Yes, he can. Oh, I'm having to wait for it. Summit chronic. Doyle. Oh, and then he gets himself tackled by Twan Zebe. Len Ormont on the right wing. I need to get back up to the right wing. Shillow's on a hell of a run. Oh, my God, the left back. Michael Shillow takes it upon himself to go and give us a 3-1 lead. He just came alive. I was concentrating on my own positioning. and didn't actually see how he broke through. But once he was in, there was no stopping him. 3-1 Spurs. If you need me, give that to Jordinho. I'll go again. He says, stumbling over the man that was with me. Oh, nice. We're in. Can we make it four? Yep. I'll take the assist. Villies Berries. Bit of skill move. Beat the man. Could have shot myself. Laid it to a teammate because I thought it would get blocked if I did. A second assist. A fourth goal. This one's changed since I entered the fray, hasn't it? Everyone's decided, actually, you know what? We are decent footballers. We can see off a championship team, and now we have. Final whistle's going to go at Portman Road. It's a 4-1 win. Can we do that in the Premier League, please? I know Ipswich are championship, and the teams wouldn't have compared in terms of ability, but we can definitely do more of that at Premier League level, regardless. Two assists for me in that one. That's us back in the starting lineup for the third and final game today with a 9.9. .9. Yep, that's uh, that's man of the match, I think. Now, with a 9.9, .9, I presume I got man of the match there. But I couldn't tell from the other menus because I got subbed on. And when you get subbed on, you can't actually see all of the details. And my guy doesn't appear to be holding a man of the match trophy at all. We've reached the max tier with our... Uh, personality points now apparently so we've maxed that out at this stage we haven't maxed out our uh, our level however so there is the opportunity to continue to grow for the time being I'm level 43 at the moment oh no yeah no I'm level 42 at the moment 16,000 needed to get to level 43 it uh, was Arsenal away next indeed it is it's the North London Derby we're ninth in the league are we going to sign anyone else in the meantime I hope so. We haven't, though. I hope we've not sold anyone. I'll have a quick double check to make sure we haven't sold anyone in the meantime. Okay. Cracking on. Here we go, then. Arsenal away. North London derby time. Arsenal is one of the potential options for us next season. At least that's what you guys keep begging me to do in the comment section, anyway. If we can turn Tottenham around, though, then I'd perhaps be a bit more respectful to Spurs. And not bring Arsenal as an option. What is their starting lineup looking like? We did win the, no the last North London derby, didn't we? It was the first time I actually scored two goals, yeah. First time I scored a brace for Tottenham was in the first North London derby against Arsenal in a 2 1 win. It was my first man of the match for the club as well. So we have history in this fixture. It was the first time actually we kind of announced ourselves as a genuine top class player in the Premier League. Ramsdale in goal for them. Chandler at right back. Dawson at centre back. Nicholas Surler and Elias Yellet. And Finley George, Adrian Rabiot and Victor Sigankov. Kai Havertz, Scott Underwood and Gabrielli Martinelli. I know it's Gabriel, but Gabrielli Martinelli is more fun to say. There's definitely going to be some booing going on for Emil Smith-Rowe today, isn't there? That's for sure. Sol Campbell Mark II, Emil Smith-Rowe. And if you guys have your way... I might be Sol Campbell Mark III. Martinelli looking for the worldie. Oh my god, hitting the bar. That's the closest we've come to a goal in this game so far. 
Gabriel Martinelli smashes the woodwork. Bissouma we might get closer to a goal. We might actually get one. Try and turn Dawson here. That's Well, I'm not sure I deserve that. <laughs> Nicolas Sula blocks my shot. We'll take the corner. That didn't really go according to plan, that Berbispin did it, but I got the better of the defender somehow, just by bullying him out of the way. Hey, look, a near post corner. Oh, Ramsdale. The Ramsdale actually needed to save, apparently. Give that to Doku. Don't lose it. He's found me again. No, he hasn't. It's Gore. There's me. There's Shilo. There's Doyle. There's Shilo. There's Doyle. Someone shoot! All right. Nil-nil at half time. Nicely done by Shilo. He's positioned himself perfectly there. Fofana dinks that forward. I'll get it round the corner. And we might go for a counter-attack here. Gore. Doku. Gore. Oh, bollocks. He's lost it. Martinelli on the counter. You're not going to catch him. You could try, but you're not going to. Overlapping run coming. He's turned centrally. Martinelli has hit the bar already today. Sigankov. I don't know if Sigankov's even touched the bloody ball so far in the game. Shillow tackles Rabio, but it still falls back to Arsenal. They definitely miss Martin Erdegaard. He's at Barcelona now in this save, isn't he? In this save, isn't he? Yeller goes for goal again, deflected. And Vicario makes the comfortable save. 25 to go. It's been actually quite a competitive game, thankfully. But no goal yet. Three shots for them, six shots for us. Nothing's gone in. Jordinho on for the last few minutes. Trundling towards a draw here. We got the late goal against Newcastle. That is terrible, Eve Basuma. Baffling decisions to try and play me in there. Rabio to Martinelli. Here's Sambi Laconga off the bench. Lenormand in the way, thankfully. Play me quick. Quick! <sighs> Jordinho, let me make the run. Play it! Your match winner in a North London derby once more! Me! 90th minute win for Spurs! We left it late against Newcastle. We left it later against Arsenal, but we will win the game. Sorry, Aaron. Oh, God, what's happening to your face, mate? Sorry, Aaron Ramsdale. I've buried that in the top bins. My 10th goal in 21 Premier League games. Three points. One of the last actions of the game. Arsenal just messing about with it from kickoff. Wood 90. That's how it's been the last two times I've scored. In fact, I haven't scored earlier than the 87th minute for my last three goals. My last, what, four, sorry, four of my last six goals have all come in the 80 plus. That one was to win the game. That one was actually to, actually that was the 12th minute. That one was to extend actually. That one was to win the game. This one was to win the game. Get in boys! We've done the double over the Arsenal. Get in. You love to see it. No assist for me. Uh, match rating, however, of 9.1. And a man of the match once more. Yo! Man of the match in all three games today. I think that's the first time we've done that at Spurs. Certainly was my shot percentage. Shooting. Five shots. One goal. 20% shot accuracy. Three straight wins. We've not done that since here. And... We've not done it since there prior to that. Our Tottenham, look at that Look at that run of form though, to be fair. Look at that run of form. Seven wins in nine games. Is this Tottenham side starting to come back to life? Seven wins in nine games is actually a really, really good run of form. Are we turning the corner? Are we going to have a particularly strong second half of the season? Poor managerial performance. We just beat Arsenal. Come on now. Victory in the derby. I'll focus on my own performance. We could try and get better individually. I'm not smashing them in this year. 10 goals in 21 games in the Premier League is decent, but it's not sensational. But look where we are in the league now. Seventh. And just three points off Liverpool in fourth. Spurs are back. Spurs are back. Are we going to sign anyone else before transfer deadline day? That's what we need to find out. That's what we'll go and find out now. All right then, transfer deadline day. Top deals so far. Nicholas Seivald to Villarreal. Walter Goose to Las Palmas. And Trevor Chaloba to Halas Verona. Uh, we're rumoured to be signing 
Theodore Daniel or Theodore Daniel. But he's a centre back slash right back, not a centre mid. We want a centre mid. We need a centre mid. Chaibi moves for nearly 80 million from Frankfurt to Atalanta. Leo Bernier, French regen, moving to Hoffenheim. Is he in? Was that done? He's moved off the thing now. Did we sign him? Let's have a look. Did he come in? I'm, I was, would have expected uh, a message about it. Yeah, it's no longer rumoured. Okay. So does that mean he's definitely not coming? Hang on, does that say one goalkeeper? We sold Vicario. We bought in Leo Werner and we've sold Vicario. Okay. Fine. Thankfully, Leo Werner looks like he might be pretty decent, but... Just EA things. Matthijs de Ligt might be moving to Chelsea. We signed a goalkeeper. We sold a goalkeeper. And outside of that, doesn't look like we're actually going to get anyone else. Valise might be leaving to go to Atalanta, apparently. Might be losing more players. Oh, Christ. Uh, still rumoured. How many players have we got in the squad at the minute? We have 23 players. 9, 6, 7, 1. Matthijs de Ligt is gone. Chelsea for 71.9. Valise is still here. So it looks like that's going to stay then. But... No further signings. We signed a goalkeeper. We sold a goalkeeper. We sold a centre mid that we weren't... Oh, sorry, a centre back that we weren't using at all in the squad. And that's it. We needed a centre mid. We did not get a centre mid. If anything, we've made the squad worse by replacing an 85-rated keeper with an 84-rated keeper. Not to worry. All right, fine. We've got Blackpool in the next round of the FA Cup. And then, yikes, Manchester City and Chelsea. That got serious all of a sudden, didn't it? And then Valencia in the Champions League. Well, if we don't beat Blackpool, uh, we need to take a long, hard look at ourselves. That will be all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more. Our season might be coming alive, even if the squad is dying. <laughs> I'll see you next time.